Tonight, from Seattle, Washington, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. see Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks taking on Jared Goff and the Los Angeles Rams. Well, the city of Seattle known for coffee, grunge music, and of course, rain. And we're definitely going to get a heavy dose of the last of those three here tonight as you look inside a wet and wild Lumen Field. These folks love their football in Seattle. This was the scene a moment ago as the home squad came out of the tunnel and it was just absolutely deafening in this building. They're set for football, so are we as the Seahawks get set to match up with the Los Angeles Rams. Welcome again, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and yes, the rain is falling now, and it is supposed to continue to fall throughout this game. So how do you think that will impact this contest? Well, first and foremost, both quarterbacks are going to make sure the officials have those dry footballs coming in each and every play and standing over them sometimes with a towel before the center gets up there to snap it. Second thing is the focus of all the guys who handle the football. Do they wear gloves? Do they take them off? Will they carry the ball high and tight to make sure they have good ball security? That's paramount in a game like this. The Rams taking the field and leading the way. The man from Cal, the former number one overall pick, Jared Goff. There's a toughness about Jared Goff that maybe he doesn't get enough credit for. His freshman year at Cal, team went 1-11. His rookie year with the Rams, he was 0-7 as a starter. Undaunted in either case and has come back each and every time to flash the ability that made him the number one overall pick in the draft when he came out of Cal. On first and ten, gone. That's going to be caught by Josh Reynolds. Yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. Looking to throw again on second down. Golf, the intended receiver, Josh Reynolds. And it's third and short. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Third down, and one yard to go. And just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. Here's the first carry of the game for Cam Akers. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? offense and defense in this case one capitalized and the other as you said had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done on first down they'll stay with acres on the ground Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you're scrambled a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? Goff throwing complete to Cup, and he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. And the Rams' first down. Check, check, 
They'll run a draw now with Akers. Brought down, but after we saw a flashy little move, stopped short of the 40. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. You often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Here's a run with Akers on second down. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty, but when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. the seventh play in this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. From the gun, here's gone. And that will be incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. And look here, it's an opening drive fake. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool this defense. And this crowd loves it as their guys hold on the opening drive. Here come the Seahawks in their offense now under veteran head coach Pete Carroll. They're led onto the field by their quarterback, a man who's made quite the name for himself in the NFL, and that's Russell Wilson. Gave the commencement address at the University of Wisconsin a couple of years ago. One of the most popular players ever to pull on the uniform there. The beginning of his career, he was a so-called game manager. Take care of the football and rely on the defense. Now, in this stage of his career, the offense runs through him, and it runs very well. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 44. He'll throw from the gun. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, finding his way into the backfield. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Another try after the first down sack. Wilson, and that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and long. Third and long, it's Wilson. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And Allen Sink was the quarterback in his center on that play. They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback, so they got their assignments down pat and kept them away from it, and he's able to step up in the pocket and fire one now for a really good strike. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. He'll run it. 
Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 22-yard line. We're scoreless after one. on first down over the middle and it's incomplete the intended receiver was DK Metcalf and it's second down they've given up a few first downs on this drive but getting the incompletion there that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide so after the incompletion second and ten from the 22 throwing again Wilson and now he'll tuck it and run the improv act there, good for nine, and now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir, able to turn that into a positive game. This will be play number seven on the drive, third and a yard. They run it with Carson, and he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and it'll give him a fresh set of downs. We ought to come up with a T-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Got his shoulders square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely. Picked his lane, went with it, and converted. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Here's Carson. And power running here down to the six-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run as his guys are on the board first here tonight. Well, it was second and goal. You're in there close. That's the fullback's comfort zone. Not only is it his comfort zone, it's an expectation. That's what he's supposed to do. Turn and hand it to him. Big guys fire out. Find your way into the end zone. Jason Myers now for the extra point. This will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. The 10-play drive that time. And it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. Touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. On the return, it's Simba Webster. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. It hasn't gone particularly well for them, that's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic, meaning you don't have to go deep down the field, maybe you hit them on those short passes on the perimeter, make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. 
don't cause any extra stress on your offense. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. From the shotgun, here's a give to Akers. And he'll get this one up to the 26. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. for the Seahawks on third down. A shotgun snap for Gong. Looking underneath, he's got Akers. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. A short gain that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. John now is a punter, Johnny Hecker, who in fact grew up just north of here in nearby Bothell. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Johnny Hecker on a reminder coming up at halftime. Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. And that last touchdown drive they had very balanced. How key is that balance? It's huge because most of the time when we talk about balance is run, pass, almost 50-50. But most of the times when you talk to offensive coaches, they say balance is we do what we want when we want to. <laughs> and that means that they're ahead of the defense, keeping them on their heels. Yeah, they impose their will on that last drive. Now Wilson on first down. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. to throw again. Wilson throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. David Moore, the intended target, and yeah, that'll make it third down. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. This is Carson. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On 
fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. And just a 30-yard punt that time. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game, and that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. On first down, it's gone. That's taken in, complete to Reynolds. That one good for 10 yards, and it'll be second and very short. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really that's really a whole lot cool. of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go, and let's see who's faster. Throwing again on second down. Goff, that's into the hands of Reynolds. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. It's a first down on a gain of 10. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Back to throw, Goff. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 36, the 20. And he will not get all the way home, but he will take this back down to about the two-yard line. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you, and you know he's going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end zone. But if they don't score now, if they don't get a touchdown, he won't just get teased. They'll be glaring at him. How'd you not score? This starting field position, first and goal from two yards out. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Russell Wilson scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it helped score us in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. The extra point now coming from Myers. And it's good to make it 14-0. A nice, tidy little drive there. Getting the ball in excellent field position. And only one play to score. Turn comes Webster. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Rams take over first and 10 at their own 27. Jared Goff for the Rams headed back onto the field. He's got to dig deep here, doesn't he? Team's losing. He's not playing well either. And they always tell you, don't press. You'll make things a little bit worse. 
but in this particular situation, you try and heighten your play a little bit. So far, he's thrown one interception. He wants to balance that off with at least one touchdown pass in order to get his team back moving forward. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was in search of his tight end, Tyler Higby. That'll bring up second down. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Second and 10 now from the 27. Out of the gun, gone. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Akers. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Now a timeout called for by the defense as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Tyler Lockett trotting onto the field, getting set for this next drive. Not only does he not have a catch, I don't, I don't think he's been targeted in this game, but they're winning. And if you ask a receiver of his magnitude, he'll tell you that it's because everyone is focused on him anyway. Okay, you've taken it away. No catches, no targets, but we're still winning. I've opened things up for the rest of my team. I know how receivers think. <laughs> They've been using him as a decoy, and effectively so. On first down, Wilson. And that one will fall incomplete. Wilson's pass. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Second and ten. It's Wilson again. That's into the hands of his tight end, Will Disley. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. First down with Wilson. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. So much about defending the pass is being able to be right there at the moment the ball gets to the receiver. And he was right in his hip pocket, helping force that incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Throwing again, Wilson, out to the right, he gets it to Lockett, and taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. First and ten, it's Wilson. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 
So we come upon halftime with our score 14 to nothing. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports halftime report. We saw a strong first half out of quarterback Russell Wilson. His guys have a two touchdown lead as we hand it back over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. continue as we are underway in the second half. This is DJ Reed returning. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. First and 10 at their own 23. Seattle again getting ready to take over offensively. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 23. He gives it off to Carson. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace it. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion, or even worse, an interception. At the 43-yard line. Second down and six. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. Rolling to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. The rushing numbers for Wilson, maybe down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Now it's Carson. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? What's that, five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They run again with Carson. He'll get about four here down at the 43-yard line. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? 
The Rams calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. From the shotgun, Wilson. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Now here's Michael, Michael Dixon, Dixon as he'll Michael kick it away for the second time. And how about this, a fake? And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And the Rams are going to take possession of the turnover on downs. Out come the Rams. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Goff now to throw. They'll get this one to Cup complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Well, look at this, a tight end carry. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Carrier brought down at the 30-yard line. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. Working with a second and three. They'll run here with Akers. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Seahawks 25. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. Gain on the play. First down, Los Angeles. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. down throw gone nowhere to go here he lost the football and the Seahawks have recovered a fumble on the play. okay this isn't one where you want to take the game tape and hold it up as an example do you I mean you talk about frustrating all the way through and that last error I think that crystallizes it doesn't it absolutely that's been representative of their entire game still being shut out the Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they sit in a good spot, having the ball back after the fumble recovery and up two scores in the fourth quarter. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. There to make the tackle, Samson Abuka. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, 
and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. They'll keep it on the ground. Carson, and he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much through the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. And I'm not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, they want to ride him down the stretch. He should have fresh legs. First down, it's Carson, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Brent, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Second down, it's Carson, and he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces, and, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. The Seahawks on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and five. And this is going to be incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Now here's Michael Dixon on, we think, to punt, though he's faked it earlier, but he was unsuccessful. And this will be out of bounds, and they spotted it the, at the 15-yard line. Not too bad. 15-yard line. L.A. set to take over again on offense. And you're still in this game. I mean, yeah, you haven't scored. Offense obviously has struggled, but you're only two scores down, so all hope not lost. Not at all, because we're talking about the NFL, and teams can score fast in this league. Quick strikes, you're right back in it. You're exactly right. Keeping hope alive. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 15. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. Now that'll be caught by Cup. Oh, now he's stripped. He lost the football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And they will set up shop with outstanding field position in the red zone at the 17-yard line. As they say, this game hasn't exactly been one for the Bucs. I mean, we're into the fourth quarter here. And now this happens, another turnover. Not one that they're going to hold up and say, yeah, this has been a banner day. Absolutely. Still sitting on zero. So they need to determine if that knee was down before the ball was coughed up. And they also wanted to make sure that the ball was possessed as they were going through it, that the ball wasn't working its way free before the knee hit the ground. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams' offense at the line. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news, but this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. It's third down and three yards to go.
The Rams on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This time it's third and three. Gone. Incomplete. He had his hands on it but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. Had to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. They got him in. It's Woods. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. First down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Rams football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On first down, gone. He'll throw complete to Cam Akers. That catch good for only a couple. Short play like that in this situation, this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. To throw again on second down. Golf. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. He gets it across the 50 and down to the 48. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now they're playing for pride and fantasy points. <laughs> and just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. First down now, but the clock continues to move. To the air again. Gone. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Intended target was Cam Akers. And that'll bring up second down. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield. They had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Again, gone. And this one is incomplete. Too many zeros on the stat sheet thus far. No touchdown passes, no points for his team, but he remains undaunted. Still attempting to get his team on the scoreboard, firing the ball downfield. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Goff throwing again. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by D.J. Reed. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. How about one last great play defensively, and that should, for all intents and purposes, finish off this shutout. That's as good a defensive performance as we've seen in a long, long time. And I know as a team they will celebrate, but I will guarantee you the defensive guys, they'll get together somewhere and have their own private celebration. A shutout? That's something to be cherished. Good starting field position here for the Seahawks as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They'll start with the option. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And he'll get this down to the 39-yard line. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten.
punting situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. They'll keep it on the ground. Carson, and he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. It's Carson, and this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. They run for it with Carson. Carson the first down and more. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Chris Carson, 31 yards. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. Now Myers for the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was all capped off by the Chris Carson touchdown run. Jason Myers. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. On the return comes Webster. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Simba Webster on the return. The Rams take over first and 10. And so now here are the Rams as their offense comes back out. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Throw left side, complete to Cup. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. An eight-yard pickup. First down. Ran. So the victory here for Seattle. And this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. Well, they absolutely pinched a shutout, so it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way. But the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. So you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that? A total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, guys from both sides will end up getting one.
so that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. It's a win for the Seahawks here as we say so long from Seattle.